Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 7 and the final part, hopefully, of this RMS Arundel Castle tutorial. Today's focus is the ship's propellers, rudder, lifeboats, vents, more vents, portholes, and a few more vents. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty more to do. So what we're going to do is start off with the smaller vents first. We're going to go on top of the ship's wheelhouse. Also forgot handrails as well, that's something we need to add. But we'll go to the top of the ship's wheelhouse first and we'll go to the, well basically the front and we're going to count back to the sixth block back, so one, two, three, four, five, six and then two out, one, two, and add a small vent, one, two, three high, one forward, same the other side, uh, two out, one, two, three up and one forward and then from there you go one two three four five six back and add a third one one two three one forward and there you go three small vents on the top of your ship's wheelhouse marvelous right so what we're going to do now is look at my notes and work out what the hell i'm supposed to do uh yep so what we're going to do now is go back to funnel number four and or just in front of funnel number four and to the deck house which supports funnel number four this one here and what we're going to do is go to the front wall, which is here, and we're going to count five forward from there. So the front wall is there, and go five forward from there. So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll add a vent there. This is a large vent, by the way. It's a, it's a big cross like that. So it's five forward of the deck house and build a cross. And this vent itself is six high. So along the back we go two, three, four. I need a quartz stairs as well, which is not helpful. So it's two, three, four, five, and six. Six high like that. And then we just build the sides up, like so. And the front as well. And then build two forward, two forward, two forward, two f and one forward, like that. And then we add the stairs on the underside, top side, and short back and sides, basically. And there we go. There's our vent added there. So that's the central vent which goes just in front of funnel number four. Now what we're going to do now is go to the side of funnel number four, which is roughly here, the side of it, and what we're going to do is go down to the base of the funnel, and then on the side of the deckhouse go down to the base, or from the, from the top of the deckhouse down to the boat deck, which is two levels down. And we're going to count out roughly four, make it five blocks out, so one, two, three, four, five, and make it four actually, four blocks out, then we add another cross. So you can see the side of the funnel there and the, and the vent goes down there, as you can see. So you've got a big drop down, but that's where the vent goes. So it's roughly along the side, four blocks out. And then this vent itself uh, is f uh, 12 high. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So it's 12 high like that. And then build the sides up. Like so, the other side, like that, and then two forward, two forward, two forward, and then build the front up, and then one forward, and then the stairs, top sides, and all around there. And there we go, there's that vent there. You do the same with the vent on the other side, but I won't bother doing that, I'm just going to use copy paste because otherwise I'll be here all bloody day. So you do the same thing on the other side, the same size event, 12 high. But like I said, I'm going to use world edit just to save time. So I shall do copy, flip to the right, GHT, and then paste. And there we go, there's the vent on the other side. So that's the two vents there. And just see either side of funnel number four. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just quickly look at my notes, so bear with me. And what we need to do is go to the stern deck house, which is all the way over there. So you've got the stern deck house over here. So it's behind the behind the mast, so this deck house here. And what we're gonna do, you've got this the top deck house there, what we do is go to the side of that, so it's on the top deck, but not the de top deck house. So basically if we go to the sides walls of the deck house, and roughly go one, two, three, four, five, make it four back and then one, two, three out. We'll add a cross there. So if you look, you've got the um, deck house there, and you're just out, outside of that, so it's four back and four, three out, sorry. And then you add the vent there, where this vent itself is seven high, so two, three, four, five, six, and seven high like that. And then we just build the sides up as well, 
And these vents are a real pain in the ass to build, but look, they look good. And it hiccups again as well. So there we go. And then we go two forward, two forward, two forward. Build the front up like so. And then add the stairs around like so. And there we go. There's that vent there. And once again, you do the same on the other side. So it's the same design there. So what I'll do, I'll uh, try and copy this to the other side. So uh, copy. Yeah, I'll do this to the back. So we'll, do, we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So like I say, it's copy to the other side. So that's one there. And we'll do the same thing again. So copy, flip, paste. And there we go. There's the vent on the other side. So that is those vents there. Two vents on that deck house. It looks quite good. And then... Uh, well on, the, on the roof of the top deck house we're going to add three small uh, vents you can just see on the prototype over there three small vents so we'll go from the center here on the top of the deck house and count five back so one two three four five and add a small vent which is four high so four high and one back and then we go roughly two say about twelve or ten back sorry so two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then three out, one, two, three, and add another vent. One, two, three, four, one back. Same again. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one back. And there we go. There's the three vents there on the top of that deck house. And it should look something like that. So bear with me while I read my notes again. And so what we need to do now is go down to the bottom of the ship now, the bot uh, the very back end at the bottom. We're gonna add the rudder and propellers. Now I apologize if I'm going too quick for this, but uh, you know you can just pause it and rewind it and go do through it that way so uh, it's not the end of the world if I'm going too fast um, so yeah what we're going to do now is add the rudder first so that we've got the rudder hinges already in place and what we're going to do for the bottom of the rudder we're going to add uh, 8 back so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that's in red by the way so 8 back and then 2 like that and then we go 9 up so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like that and then we go forward 4 1, 2, 3, 4 and then underneath that we go three, one, two, three. And then underneath that three again, one, two, three, like that to connect to the top hinge. And then we just build down in front of all the other hinges. Like so. And there we go, there's the rudder shaped like that. And then we just fill it all in with red. And it should all look fine. And there we go, there's the rudder added there. Marvellous. Right, so now we need to add the propellers. Now the propellers for the design, we're going to be using uh, stone, uh, sandstone blocks and sandstone stairs, wherever they are, there they are. So sta sandstone stairs is what we need. And that's what, for that. And then for the rudder, uh, for the propeller itself, we're going to go back down to the keel, the very back end of the ship, uh, just in front of the hinges. And for the propeller, we want to go up seven. So counting, count up seven, including the keel. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then count five back. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then in any other color, it doesn't really matter. You're going uh, to build out five. So one, two, three, four, five. Or on the fifth, fifth block, sorry, you add your um, stone, uh, sandstone. Like that. So it's five out like that. So it's four blocks, and then on the fifth block is where your centre of your propeller will go, like that. And then you can remove the white, uh, the other uh, blocks there, and then there's the centre of our propeller. And then what you're going to do then is behind that, or forward it, uh, you're going to build uh, two sandstone, and then you're going to build red, basically all the way forward till it connects with the rest of the hull like so. I don't know how many that is, but it just build the red all the way forward until it connects with the hull like that. And then for the propeller itself, the propeller blades, you're going to go to the centre or the middle um, sandstone, looking forward or back, whichever way, and you're going to build a swastika. So you build up two, out one, out two, down one, down two, out one, out two, up one, like that. So you've got the swastika like that. And then what you're going to do is using sandstone stairs, you're going to curve off the edges. So at the top you add two stairs like that, back to back. And then underneath you add stairs there like so, so it creates a propeller blade. And you do the same on the sides and round the other side underneath. And then underneath again. Like so, and up there, and then up there, and there. And then the last one 
in there. And there we go, there's our four propeller blades. And it should look something like that. And uh, it doesn't look too bad. Um, bigger ships, of course, have bigger propellers, but that's just about the right size for this sort of ship. You know, it's just got the right diameter for it. So that's a roughly about seven in diameter, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven in diameter is not too bad. And there we go. So then what we're going to do now is go back to the red behind the propeller. And where the first red block is, what we're going to do is build, just on the inside, build two up and then two up and then one in there like that. And then what you do is just build the red on the next row up all the way back again. Same with the next row. Like so. And then you've got three rows of red connected like that. That's basically the propeller shaft and the flange. And that's what holds the propeller to the, uh, the side of the ship. And it don't look too bad. And that's one side done. You do the same on the other side, of course. So the ship is symmetrical on both sides. But what I'll do, I'll do a quick copy-paste just to save time. So just copy from down there up to the other end. And we should have both propellers in place. So I'll copy to there. And I should do the usual uh, copy, flip, and paste. And there we go. Both propellers in place. So that's the ship now with propulsion. And looking marvellous. And I uh, just love the, the curve of the hull. I mean, it's not, not brilliant, but look at, me, look at the curve of the hull. It just kind of looks elegant. Like a vase shape, really. But, you know, there you go. And uh, that's the propellers done. So that's that job done there. And what we're going to do now is to add the portholes to the ship. Now we're going to go to the top of the grey here, at the very back of the ship. Now this is going to go from the centre. And we're going to use glass blocks, which is always wonderful. So we use glass there. Bear with me a second while I just read my notes. Alright, so what we're going to do now is go, yeah, go from the centre and it's on top of the grey. So the first block above the grey in, in the white, basically, we're going to add portholes. So we're going to add the centre porthole there, like that. And then you're going to go round the side of the ship all the way to the end of the white. Um, and what you're going to do is add a porthole every four blocks. So every fourth block, add a porthole. So that's one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, all the way along the side. Now they will come up against that open port, open section there, the open promenade, but that's not a problem. You just skip that and start again the other side. So every fourth block, I'll go up to that. So every fourth block, we'll add the portholes along the white and up to there. There we are. So you can see the portholes in place there, or windows, whichever you want to call them, and they're just above, or basically just sat on top of the grey. And uh, it don't look too bad. So that's the, the back end portholes done on one side, of course. And then we do the same uh, on the other side. So we'll start anywhere you like on the, on the other side of the open promenade. And we just go and add a first porthole there. And then once again, it's every fourth block. So I'll do as many as I can up to the end of the white. So basically all the way forward to the end of the white. And then that will be those portholes done. And it should all be okay. So, like I said, I just try and do this as quick as I can and accurately as I can. Every fourth block. And we're nearly at the end as well, which is good. to there and then once again up to the front wall which is there oh, hang on gone too far by one I got a bit excited there uh, well add glass there and white in there there we go there's all the port <laughs> portholes added along the side there you can't see very well but they're there and they go all along the side up to the end of the white and that is fine that is how it should look so all those windows in place there you could you probably done this already but you know it's, it's something I wanted to do and get out of the way. <gasps> oh, they don't look too bad. What's behind me? All that. And uh, they don't look too bad. So what we're going to do now is move on to the next section, which is more portholes, but this is forward of the uh, of that section there. Now, this is going to be a pain in the ass to do, but I'm going to work out how we do this. So if we go... Uh, 
Actually, if we go to the end corner, so basically go to where the on the forecastle here, so on the forecastle, we're gonna to go to the white wall on the back of it, and out to the side to the grey, and then count down um how many is it? One, two, three, hang on. One, two, three, four. Count down to the third block down, I think. So one, two, three there. I think that's the height we want. So from the end of the wall, count down one, two, three. Um and actually make it the fourth block down, so four down like that. And replace the grey. So yeah, from the end of the port from the end of the folks all go down one, two, three, four. Then we'll add our first window there. Like that. Now this goes in an awkward design, so we want to build these forward and they're going to go in a row of three first so every fourth block again so that's the first window there and we'll go fourth four blocks are gone that's window number two and then forward window number three so that's three windows like that and then what we we'll do is go forward three forward four again so one two three four and then up one because of course the, the folks all sloped up slightly so I'll go up one like that and then we add the first window of four so that's one two three and four. So anyway, there's the four windows there. And then what we do then is go forward four again. One, two, three, four, and up one. And then we add five. So that's one, two, three, four. Hang on, one, two, three, four. And then five there. So it's five windows there. So it goes in three, four, five alongside. Then you get sort of get an idea there. It's not you can't see it very well, but you can just see you got three. And then up one four and up one five, and that is how that should be uh, on the forecastle there or on the, the front of the hull. So that's those windows there. Not brilliant, not perfect, and kind of out of place on the grey, but you know it's as good as it's going to get really. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. So I shall call it a day with that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a jump cut, and then we're going to move on to the next phase, which will be lifeboats. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. I've added the portholes on both sides. So you've got the portholes on this side here, minus that black stripe there, which is annoying. And uh, there we go, that's that. So what we're going to do now is move on to the lifeboats. Now what we're going to do, the lifeboats will go in three phases. If you look on the prototype here, we've got three lifeboats up there, the two lifeboats a bit further down, and there's a big cluster over there. So we're going to focus on the first three up here, which will go up on the top deck here. Now what you do on the top deck up here, uh, underneath the bridge wings, you've got this wall on the side here, which is one block higher than the deck. Go to the end of that, so go all the way back to that wall ends, which is basically here. And what we're going to do is leave a single block gap back, basically in this corner here, is where we add our davit. Our first davit is five high, so one, two, two, three, four, five, and then two and one, like that. So there's our first davit, five high, two, one. Like that, and then what you do, you leave a fifth uh, count back to the 15th block. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and build the same again. So, it's f uh, four, five, and then two up and one. So, you get your two davits looking at each other, sort of like that. You can't see it because it's all bloody white around here. But there you go, there's the two davits like that, and then in between that, you put your boat. Now, the boat itself is 14 long, so. Just go on the inside and the boat we build the keel of the boat the keel of the boat is 12 so we we'll go um one block gap from the davit and then one block into the side of the ship uh, to into the inside of the ship we we'll build a, the keel which is 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then two and one at each end two and one and then we we'll build the base of the boat so the base of the boat will start that to the other side as well and then the next row up we just add two out two out like that and then all the way back to the other end so two out two out there so that's one side same the other side like so and I've not explained it very well but there you go <laughs> there's the first boat and what we can do we can remove surplus blocks because we just try to make it as curvy as possible so remove blocks we don't need like that and then on the inside you can either fill in details of the boat like seats and things but what I normally do I just fill in the top of the boat and then put a canvas over the top or, or a coloured carpet it's up to you how you want to do this but uh, I shall just uh, cover them up and there we go so what I've done on the prototype I use red carpet for the top but on this one I shall use blue a uh, nice blue carpet always looks very nice 
So we've got our blue carpet and just cover the top over. And that sort of dif differentiates the ships from each other. So we've got our blue carpet on the top of the lifeboat. So that's our first lifeboat done anyway. Like so, so our first davits and lifeboat done there. And then what you want to do from there, what you're going to do is leave a sing single block gap from the next davit, or from the first davit, single block gap, and then start the process again. So it's five up, two, one, and then 15th block back, wherever it is, 14, 15, there we go, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one again. So there's the second set of davits. And once you've done the lifeboat as well, you do the same thing again, single block gap, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one. And there's 15 block back again. We do the same again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one. So we are. There's our where the first three boats will go. So you put your lifeboats in between these davits as well. The first one was just a demonstration. So you put your lifeboats between there like that. So you have three on the top up here. The same on the other side. So you'll have six on the top deck. So three either side. And then you move down to the next deck. Now we go down to the next deck down here. And what you do, you go down to the next deck, and you've got the wall here at the end of the, you know, basically at the end of the deck, the end of the wall here, and you've got this pillar here. So this is where you want to sort of work. And what we do, we leave a three block gap, so from the end of the wall you go one, two, three, and on the fourth block, and then one in, you build your davit there. So one, two, three, four, five there, one, two, one. And once again, 15 block gap, or 15 block back. So 15th block, we add the next davit, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. That's lifeboat number four. And then you do the same again. A single block gap. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. And then again, 15 block gap for the next davit. So this will be the last boat involving davits. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. And there we go. There's the fifth fifth boat. And if you want to, it's entirely up to you. You can actually extend the, the open area here by removing a few blocks. You can add an extra lifeboat if you want to. Um, I think one would be the maximum you can get in there. But it's up to you. I think I'll leave the design as it is. But there's the first five placements. And then you just add the lifeboat in between. So you can design your own lifeboat or you can copy the one that I've done. So, um, yeah, but what I'll do, I'll quickly build another one just to give you an idea. So <laughs> between the davits and one in we'll add the, the keel so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then two at each end plus one up two uh two forward one up and then we add the base like so and then the outside edge so two out two out one and two out two out two out one and two out and then the sides like so there's the main base of the boat, get rid of the excess blocks like so and then on the inside we just fill it all in with whatever block you're using quartz, concrete, wool, flour, <laughs> anything you want and there we go and then once again just add the blue canvas to the top or carpet rather and it will look rather nice and neat Well, you can use any colour you want, but like I say, on the prototype I use red. This one I'm using blue. And uh, you can use any colour you want. But there you go, there's that lifeboat done there. So that's two of the two of the five boats done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a jump cut while I uh, get the rest of the boats in place. And I'll do the same on the other side. And then I'll uh, we'll start on the cluster at the back. So, um, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've got the lifeboats in both sides now. So we've got five on the left, five on the right, and it doesn't look too bad. The blue canvas does look a bit out of place on this sort of colour of ship, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> it's entirely up to you what colour you want to use. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. We've got the lifeboats in. And that's that job there. So the last job for today, apart from the handrails, is to add the gantry davits on the stern, which goes on this deckhouse here, just behind uh, funnel number four. And these gantry davits are similar to what we had on Britannic, so you know, they're basically just big two towers which lean in and outwards, which... Uh, hoist lifeboat so what we're going to use is grey concrete and we're going to start on the front corner of the outside or the, of the outside part so the deck house basically goes all the way out and we're going to start on the outside corner at the front and I'm on the right hand side here so we're at this front right corner 
and we're going to go to the third block inwards so one two three and then we're going to build up uh, six rows of three so we go up one two three and then you're going to build these so they're leaning towards the center so that's three and then one two three one two three one two three that's four and then one two three one two three so that's four rows six rows of three up like that and then what you do you leave a single block gap and you do the same again so one two three 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 so it's uh, two sets of six rows of three and you'll end up with a design like that and then at the top you add a block up there and at the bottom you add a block in between there like that so basically it's, it's just squares like that that's how it looks and then what you do at the top the top two blocks here what you're going to do is build inwards towards or backwards towards the back you're going to add five so one two three four five and the same at the other end one two three four five like that join them together there like so and then what you're going to do is from that block underneath in the center you're going to build forward three one two three and then underneath that three again one two three like that so it creates a support for that uh, area there and that is pretty much the gantry done or one gantry done uh, at the bottom of the gantry what we'll do I'll add a couple of white blocks here to connect it to the deck itself gives it a bit of ballast there and that is one gantry done. So I do the same the on the back of the uh, of the deck house. Now we try and do the same thing. So it's third block in, and then up eight uh, six rows of three. So one two three, uh, one two three, one uh, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. That's one two three four five six, uh, six rows of three, and the same again. One block uh, one block gap. That's second block back. So one two three, one two three, one two three. One two three, one two, two three, one two three, and then we go, and then join them together at the top, and join them together at the bottom, and a couple of blocks to connect to the deck, so it looks like that, and then at the top, going inwards or going forward, add five, one two three four five, the other side, one two three four five, join them together there, underneath, build outwards or towards this davit. Uh, three, one, two, three, and then underneath that, one, two, three, and there we go. There's the two gantries, like that, and they should all look nice and neat. Now you want to do another pair of those on the other side, and so that they'll face the other end, so leaning inwards, and uh, in the same, exactly the same design, of course, just facing the other way, um, and that should all be fine. So I shall do that in a minute. But between these two, you've got to add two lifeboats: one on the deck at the bottom, and then one halfway up, roughly. So I put our first boat roughly in the middle here, so I put our keel in first, and the lifeboat is the same design as the ones over there, so it's 12 for the keel, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 2 at each end, you get the idea how this is, so 2 at each end, and 1 up, 1 up, and yeah, you get the idea with this, it's the same design, so I, I just build the basic boat and I'll add the details later on. Like so, and then the two out, two out, two out, two out, like that. Like that, and then we go, and I'll just fill it all in as well. You get the idea with this. It does take a little while, but we'll get there. And there we go, there's the first boat done. And then the next boat what you're going to do is go from the ground upwards. So if we go from the ground and we count to the sixth block up, so we go from here, we go from the bottom, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks up and go from the centre and then we go from here. Um, actually go seven blocks up and that makes it a bit easier. <laughs> then what we do, we go add the two, uh, actually add the keel from there. So we go, that's number block number one and remove that one. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we build the boat up from there. So it's two forward, one up, two forward, one up, and then you build the boat there. And that that boat will be suspended in the air, but it doesn't look too bad. You know, it, it's where it should be. So what I'll do, uh, I quickly, well, I'll do a jump cut in a minute and add that boat in. But between, once you get the both sides in, both halves in, it should all look okay. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll do a quick jump cut while I fill in the lifeboats, and then when I'll. Uh, do the other side, copy and paste, so uh, back in a moment. 
Okay, back again. So I've added the lifeboats and the canvas to the tops of them, and it should look something like that. So you two lifeboats, two gantries, and it should look something like that. So like I say, you do the same thing on the other side. So what I'll do, I'll quickly copy and paste to the other side. So if I go copy from there to up there, and what we'll do, I'll go down to here, and you should be able to see them both going to place. So if I go copy, and then flip, and then paste, and there we go. There's the two gantries on that side as well. So that is how that should look there. Now, in between the two the two gantries in this base here, you can put other lifeboats. Now, I'm not going to bother doing that because you know what the lifeboats look like. But if you want to put, say, three more boats here, you'll probably get three boats, maybe four at a push. But put one in the middle and then one either side. And you should have enough space for, say, three lifeboats. And if you want to stack them, like they were on real ships, then you can. Um, what I'll do, I'll go over to the prototype and show you what I've done there because it just saves me time having to build more lifeboats to you know how to build them anyway. So there we go, and you see in the middle here, you've got three lifeboats. And like I say, you, you could probably get four, maybe five, I'd say four, but you can stack them as well if you want to because uh, that's how the gantries work. So um, if you want to add lifeboats there, then go ahead, it, it, it will look fine. And uh, it, won't, oh, it won't look too bad. So that is that job done there. And uh, the lifeboats are done, but it doesn't look too bad. And uh, I think that's really, 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 really all we can do. So what we're going to do now is the last job, which is handrails. And uh, that should be the last job for this build. So uh, it's a shame, really, but I've enjoyed the build. So we'll start with the, the handrails between the two gantries on the back. So we'll put our handrails across there. And... Uh, it's usually time for having a rent, but I can't be bothered to do that. So there's the back handrails, and then handrails in front of the gantries as well, and then across the other side, and up the other side as well, up to the stern, or oh, fourth, fourth funnel deck house there, and I do the same on the other side. And uh, just trying to think what to do. So this, this will be the last build or the last video for this build. The Arundel Castle is all done, and. Uh, what we should do after that is the SS United States. We're not going to start that straight away. I'm going to give it a week or two. Because I've got a couple of other builds to finish off first. I mean, I've got another build over there going on. And the QE2, which is over there, has not been worked on for over a week. But there we go. Uh, anyway, that's the the, the, uh, the handrails done there. So we go down to the boat deck down here, the lower boat deck. and just add the handrails in front of the uh, other lifeboats. So from that wall there, all the way forward, across the side of the lifeboats here. And up to the side wall there. I do the same on the other side. Get that one out of the way. But yeah, the uh, the next build, Kiwi 2 over there, still needs a lot of work doing to it because I took time off to build, from building that to uh, do this video or these these videos. And uh, I did have a bank holiday weekend where I could have got on and done it, but I thought I'd start another one over there. So <laughs> I kind of uh, dug myself a bit of a grave there, but no big deal. So that's those handrails done there. So what we do now, we go to the next deck up, just in front of funnel number four, and add our handrails from there, forward all the way around to the uh, lifeboats there, or basically all the way up to the bridge wings, really. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the QE2 is uh, after SS United States. The SS United, SS United States is the next build after this one, next tutorial. Um, possibly, or it'll be, it'll be September anyway, because of course September is uh, Sunday and that's the 1st of September so it'll be a September build anyway and it'll probably be early to mid September when I start that one uh, so that's that. So there's the handrails on that part there so we do the same the other side again and so yeah well the uh, SS United States will be an interesting build because it's a hell of a lot bigger than this ship I mean, if you look at this, the United States over there, you can sort of see the stern is is higher than the bow already, and the, the the structure of the ship is massive in comparison to this one. I mean, this is only a little tiddly ship. This sort of gives you an idea on the size comparison. So it's going to be a big build. I mean, this one's stretched to seven parts. The United States will probably go till ten, maybe more. Titanic was ten. Queen Mary was twelve. So yeah, the United States would probably be between 10 and 12. Maybe, if we can get it less than 10, it would be a bonus, but I think 10 would be uh, a, a decent amount, so 10 parts would be fine. So there's those handrails there. Uh, we can add the handrails as well around the third funnel. So get these ones out of the way. 
and uh, everything should be all funky dory. But uh, I'm still taking requests. I mean, when I do the the chat in the evenings, when the videos goes public, I won't be doing chat for these videos, but which is obvious. Um, but uh, people do send me requests, and uh, I can't do them all, but I do take them, take notes, and write them down. And if I can do them, depending on the deck plans and things like that, research, then I will do them. But like I say, I can't promise everything. And I do avoid modern cruise ships. I don't do carnival ships. I don't do Costa Concordia or Oasis of the Seas or anything like that. I mainly stick to a sort of an early 20th century to mid 20th century era. Apart from the QE2, which is over there. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not modern ship history, if you know what I mean. I don't like those ships. They just, or modern ship history. They just look awful, these modern cruise ships. You know, the carnival ships, the big, big white blocks of apartment, or big white apartment blocks with a point at one end. They're not designed to look elegant, they're just designed to cram as many people in as possible. They, you know, the, 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 the architecture of today is not what it's look, looking at, it's what its function is. If you can make it more functionable, then it's a go. Whether what it looks like is irrelevant. So there you go, that's modern architecture for you. But there's the handrails added up there. And I think that is that. So that is the Arundel Castle done. And she don't look too bad, apart from that brown, st that black stain there, which is a shadow glitch, annoying as it is. But there we go. And that, like I say, Arundel Castle is done. She looks mighty fine. A bit, like I say, apart from that that stain. But there you go. That's, you can't help that. And. Um, yeah, so that's that. So um, we've got two Arundel Castles now. We can probably rename one because the, the Arundel Castle did have a sister ship. It was the Windsor Castle, and they were identical. So we've basically got two ships that are identical, Arundel Castle and Windsor Castle. But later on in their careers, the ships were updated. They did have a new hull, uh, a new bow, and t they were replaced with two funnels. Instead of having four, they were replaced with two funnels. So the ship did change in design slightly, but... That's no big deal. But that's the Arundel Castle done. So what we do now is move over to the United States, which is the next build. September will be the date for this one. I'm not sure when exactly, but uh, it will be a build nonetheless. A big build. As you can see already, it is a big build. And uh, it's going to be an interesting one to see. As you can see that the draft is very large. The hull itself is large. So the ship is pretty massive. And I have to say that... the when I look at pictures of the United States looking forward at the bridge, the ship does look quite intimidating, and that sort of looks at it as well. It's quite a, an aggressive looking bridge or front superstructure, and it does look quite good. And uh, that would be for them. So that is the United States, which will be the next build. And um, yeah, that is something for them for the future. So it'll be a few weeks' time, possibly two, maybe three weeks, I'm not sure. And then we can move on to the United States, but we'll see. So this is Rich, signing off, logging off, disappearing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, commenting, and all the stuff like that. So you can subscribe, hit that ringer bell thing, which people do. And then you'll know when I upload more videos. <laughs> it's a very cheesy thing to say, but there you go. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. And so what I do now, I shall disappear, and I shall return with another video soon. So uh, bye for now.